let's cook up some more crystal math. Sorry, I've been watching the Breaking Bad series. Uh, anyway, uh, so here f goes from z to n. I wrote there uh, z plus, but then I decided, oh no, let's make it uh, uh, zero included as well. So. Um, so this is basically absolute value, right? f of x is x if x is positive or zero, and negative x is if x is negative. So like f of 2, since 2 is positive, that would be 2, whereas f of negative 2, so negative 2 is here, so it would be negative negative 2, which is 2. And actually, that's my proof that f is not injective, because f of 2 is 2, right? Because 2, you use this guy, and then f of negative 2, well, negative 2 is negative, so negative negative 2, which is 2. So you got two things going to 2, namely 2 and negative 2. Yeah? And so we got two x values that are not the same going to the same y value, you know, and not injective, right? Um, f is surjective. Hey, we just got to find out what got sent to anything in some natural numbers. Now, had this been going to z, then we'd know that we'd never get any negative outputs. I mean, this is absolute value, right? So like, we wouldn't have negative 3 as an output. But it's going to the natural numbers. It's non-negative integers, right? So, um, so as long as we pick anything that's 0 and above, hey, um, whatever we pick, that's the one that I sent to it because, hey, they, they were, basically we can ignore this rule um, because we're only working with the natural numbers. So they all go to themselves. So there you go. Um, so I said that there exists B in B for whichever B equals B. Really, I mean, there exists something in Z in the domain that gets sent to B, but B and the thing that got sent to B are the same thing. Okay, anyway, last one. All right. Um, f of x is x minus 3 in the event that your input is less than 5, and x plus 3 in the event that your input is greater than or equal to 5. Okay? Um, so you, basically anything piecewise, um, there's either an overlap where you know you got the same y value here as you do here, or... There's a jump discontinuity at 5, generally, unless these things are pieced together at 5, right? Um, so if there's an overlap, then it's not surjective, and then, I mean, not injective, and then if there's not an overlap, and there's like a gap, then it's going to not be surjective, because then they'll be missing some y values in there. Yeah. So um, this one turns out to be injective, because these pieces are far apart. Because um, this guy's the line y equals x minus 3. And that guy's the line y equals x plus 3. So x minus 3 crosses at uh, negative 3 on the slope of 1. x plus 3 crosses at uh, you know, positive 3 slope of 1. So we got sh sh like that. Okay. Um, and they got the at, at the, the y-intercept, that guy does not have a y-value. That's an open, and that's closed. So we're good, right? So it doesn't go like that. It goes, right? Um, anyway, so if f of, B equal, f of a equals f of b, then their outputs are the same. So their outputs could both be these, or they could both be these, or they could be this one and this one, or this one and this one. Okay, so I examined all four cases. So either a minus 3 equals b minus 3, a minus 3 is b plus 3, a plus 3 is b minus 3, a plus 3 is b plus 3, exclusively. Okay. Um, so case one, if a minus 3 equals b minus 3, just add 3 to both sides, a equals b, woohoo. Um, and then case four is going to be the same thing. Okay. Just subtract 3 from both sides. Cases two and three, though, turn out that uh, that can't happen. You need to show that can't happen, though. So if a minus 3 equals b plus 3, well, so in order for that to be a minus 3, right, in order for us to use that top rung, that had to be that the input was less than 5. 
the input was a. So if f of a is a minus 3, then a had to be less than 5 to do that. And then if f of b is b plus 3, then b had to be greater than or equal to 5. Right? That's how the function works. So that means a is less than 5, b is greater than or equal to 5. whoop de do. Ah, but you know what? We've got this right here. So if we add 3 to both sides, we see that a equals b plus 6. Now that's the kicker. That's going to be what, what contradicts this. So a is less than 5, b is greater than 5, a is b plus 6. So I'm going to take this b plus 6, and since that's what a is, I'm going to replace a with b plus 6. So b plus 6 is less than 5. We still got this. Ah, uh, but if b plus 6 is less than 5, that means b is less than negative 1. This says b is greater than or equal to 5. Ain't no way. Something that's bigger than five is not going to be smaller than negative one. It's just you know just is how numbers work, right? So nope. And now case three, you don't have to go through that whole thing again because then it would say a plus three, b minus three. Hey, switch your letters, right? A and b, who knows what they were anyway? So I mean, a could have been b and b could have been a. Same thing, right? So um, that won't happen either. So cases two and three won't happen. Cases one and four, um, those are the good guys. Um, th this doesn't make f not injective, right? That just means that of all the possible things, we had this and this, and the, the ones that we could have worried about are no problems. You know, they won't be a problem to us. Um, so that, you know, that won't happen. So f is injective. Okay. The fact that f is not surjective, just pick something. I had actually picked 5 just because, but then I realized that people might get confused with that, so I said 6. So I changed that 5 to a 6 everywhere. So um, 6 won't be an output, basically. Because um, I said there won't be an a for which f of a is 6, because that would mean either a minus 3 is 6 or a plus 3 is 6. Uh, if a minus 3 is 6, then f3 of both sides, a is 9. Ah, well then how could we use that one if the input, so 9 isn't less than 5, so we wouldn't have been doing that, right? Okay. Uh, if a plus 3 is 6, then a is 3, but 3 isn't bigger than 5, so, so basically we, that won't work. Okay. So, um, I had originally said 5, but I didn't want you to con get confused with this 5, right? So it's um, 3 isn't bigger than 5, right? And like 9 isn't smaller than 5. Uh, yeah, the 5 uh, here, that would have been 2, and that would have been like a, uh, an 8. Um, but it wasn't the, the fact that it was 5 that you know, was this 5. It was, you know, it's, it could have been... In this case, six. Anything between uh, two and eight would have been bad. Well, eight would have been okay. That's the first okay one. But then any, starting at two and ending just before eight uh, would have been a, a good counterexample to say that, that there's no y value like that. All right?